very sad day indeed at the Queen dying at age 96. Mike Hosking, nobody loves the Queen more than you and I. Oh, don't. It's very upsetting, isn't it? We're royalists, aren't we? I mean, it's end of an era. I don't know that I can. I don't. Just give me a couple minutes. No worries. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's shocking for a lot of people. It's a very upsetting uh, thing to hear. And I mean, I know for a lot of us probably anticipating and expecting it. But even though, you know, you've watched her health deteriorate and you know that it's coming, it's still very upsetting and shocking news to hear because she's just such a fabulous woman, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, sorry about that. Indeared to so um, many people. What will be interesting, I, I think King Charles, isn't it? Uh, we're going to have to get our heads around that. King Charles is going to um, address us shortly. Uh, the British Prime Minister as well. You've mentioned our Prime Minister, of course. Will Charles speak before the UK I'm assuming, so. I'm assuming You're looking at Operation London Bridge here, and as you mentioned, that the, the detail involved in this and how this will unfold over the next couple of days is extraordinary, but I'm assuming no one will speak before he does. Yeah. And he will then tour, as it happens, Scotland, Wales, England over the next few days. This is, you also pointed out, as a 10-day um, situation in which the funeral will not be held now for 10 days. But right. really, you'll never see the like of this again. No, I, I just texted my son, who's in Europe, and my nephew, I said, get to London. I mean, history is anyway, unfolding. I'll, I'll, I'll get my act together. You'll get it together. Uh, very sad day, very sad news. The Mike Hosking Breakfast will have more and all the latest updates and of course get you the um, get you anything from Charles as well. Thank you for being with us this morning on this historic day. Mike Hosking Breakfast is next.